Earlier this year, the FDA notified Amazon that it couldn't lawfully sell NAC as a supplement because NAC was first studied as a drug back in 1963. And after that, Amazon pulled all their products containing NAC and no longer sells it. Now, NAC has actually been sold in the United States as a supplement for 57 years, so why is the FDA just now trying to ban it? To help answer that, first we'll quickly review how it works. NAC, or N-acetylcysteine, provides your body with the amino acid cysteine. This is really important because cysteine is one of three amino acids that make up your body's master antioxidant and detoxifier, glutathione. Cysteine is usually the one in shortest supply, meaning it's a rate-limiting nutrient for glutathione production in the body. So for most people, if they simply had more cysteine, their cells could create more of this powerful antioxidant. To emphasize just how effective this supplement is, NAC has been used intravenously in hospital emergency rooms since the 1960s to save lives from acetaminophen or Tylenol overdose. It does this by providing your liver with previously depleted cysteine so it can make more glutathione, which then allows the liver to resume detoxifying the harmful metabolite produced by acetaminophen. Now that we know how NAC works, let's shed some light on how it might relate to the current situation. The first study we're looking at is NAC, a potential therapeutic agent for SARS-CoV-2. They note that in human clinical trials, NAC has been used to replenish glutathione stores and increase the response of T cells, which are a type of white blood cell that's essential to the immune system. And they end the abstract with, we present evidence to support the use of NAC as a potential therapeutic agent in the treatment of COVID-19. Hmm. Well, that's strange. Why would the FDA want to ban it if it was potentially helpful for COVID-19? Our second study to quickly review is titled Therapeutic Blockade of Inflammation in Severe COVID-19 with Intravenous NAC. That one's also from 2020. In this one, they describe a patient who was given intravenous NAC and recovered from severe COVID-19, which included the removal of a respirator and an oxygenator. And they end the abstract by noting how NAC reduced inflammation in all patients and suspect that it may involve the blockade of viral infection and the ensuing cytokine storm. They also recommend follow-up confirmatory studies in the setting of controlled clinical trials. And here, I'd like to note that at the time the FDA removed NAC from Amazon, it was being investigated in no less than 16 clinical trials for its usefulness against COVID-19. The final study we're looking at today is titled Potent Thrombolytic Effect of N-Acetylcysteine on Arterial Thrombi which basically means potent blood clot dissolving effect of NAC on arterial blood clots. Blood clots are extremely dangerous and can lead to fatal conditions such as heart attack and stroke, and as most people know, have been a huge issue with COVID-19 and COVID-19 vaccinations. In the abstract, they note that intravenous NAC administration promotes dissolution of arterial blood clots that are resistant to conventional approaches. And at the end, they note, we provide evidence that NAC is an effective and safe alternative to currently available antithrombotic agents to restore vessel patency after arterial occlusion. So in a nutshell, that means there's solid clinical evidence of NAC being really good at safely and effectively dissolving blood clots. With all this evidence of how amazingly helpful NAC is for people, why exactly would they try to ban it? Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.